to offer a brief reflection on this year's theme, I am the Immaculate Conception. These words encapsulate an encounter, an identity, and an inspiration. Let me say something briefly about each. First, the encounter. The theme comes from the words that were spoken to St. Bernadette on the 16th apparition of the Lady at the Grotto in Massabiel. It was on the 25th of March, 1858, which was the Feast of the Annunciation. After an absence of three weeks from the grotto, Benedette felt a sudden irresistible urge to return there during the night. On the Feast of the Annunciation, early in the morning of the 25th, the lady appeared to her and smiled at her. After about an hour in which Bernadette had remained entranced as she gazed upon the beautiful face, the lady finally gave an answer to Bernadette's repeated question, asking her what her name was. Que soy era Immaculada Concepcion. The lady spoke to Bernadette in her Gascon dialect. Bernadette did not understand what these words meant and had to repeat them over and over to herself as she returned back to the parish priest, Father Dominique, for fear of forgetting them. Only later was the meaning explained to her, and she realised that the Lady was indeed the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, whom we now call Our Lady of Lourdes. The words also reveal something of Our Lady's identity, our second thread. Note that Our Lady doesn't tell Bernadette that she had been immaculately conceived, but she says that she is the Immaculate Conception. Our Lady's words testify not to some feature about her, but to who she claims to be, who she is, her identity. What do we understand then these words to mean? To say that Our Lady is the Immaculate Conception is to say that she was free from original sin at the moment of her conception. This identity then reveals Mary's purity, Mary's freedom from corruption and taint. As a poor illiterate girl, Bernadette could not have known that Pope Pius IX had proclaimed the doctrine of Our Lady's Immaculate Conception only four years earlier. When he did so, he explained that Mary was preserved from original sin by a singular grace and privilege given to her by God, in view of the merits of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Mary, like every other human being, also needed these redemptive benefits of Christ. But in anticipation of what God did for all through Christ, she alone was preserved from original sin from the first moment of her conception. One might say that in her case, redemption was by exemption, 
redemption by exemption. That was the argument anyway advanced by Blessed John Duns Scotus, uh, advanced in the 14th century. Surprising though it might be for an English Dominican to be referencing him a Scottish Franciscan. Our Lady's Immaculate Conception has an obvious purpose. By her Immaculate Conception, she was conceived in the fullness of grace, that is, in the state of closest possible union with God, in view of the future role that she was to have as Mother of Jesus. Thus, she is the fairest of creatures, as one of the great Marian hymns puts it, or even Immaculate Mary, in the words of the Lord Ave, that we all know so well. This brings me to the third thread, inspiration. Our Lady's spotless identity and the encounter with Bernadette can serve as a great inspiration to all of us. We can often feel like miserable sinners, and it's true that none of us have the unique qualities of Mary. But by her prayers and example, we can become better. We can become saints. Leon Bloy, the French writer, once wrote very accurately, the only real sadness, the only real failure, the only great tragedy in life is not to become a saint. And there's no finer saint than Our Lady. So let us ask for her prayers, that she who appeared to Bernadette, she who was immaculately conceived, she who is queen of all the saints, might help us one day to join her and behold the glory of her Son in heaven. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Looking on with tears in her eyes.